Hello there, folks. Hi, everybody. How it's is it, Ryan? Ryan? What day is it? Aren't you supposed to say that? It's Thursday. Welcome it's to Thursday. Thursday. I'm saying. I mean, I know you're new here, but usually I say hello, everyone, and then the person next to me says, "Welcome to whatever day it is." But I've you'll never, catch on. I've at never some been point. here before. Someday. You'll find that out and you'll catch on. Really? <laughs> wow. Okay, so today we have a good old bins haul for you guys. And when I say good, one. I mean good this time. This is not like a joke. Oh. This is a good one. This was, I think, a long time coming. Why? Because. <laughs> and you're gonna... No, that's it. I just had good okay. energy and I think it all got spent on this bins. You story. got what you deserved, apparently. So this is a bins <laughs> haul. This is a really good one. And this is the bins haul from the thrift with us that went up on Tuesday. So if you missed that, you might want to check that out first. Though you don't have to. It doesn't add to this really in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. But that is what this is from. And we will say right off the bat, this is most certainly going to be a two-part haul. This is a lot of stuff. And we stayed a lot longer than usual. Mm -hmm. Ryan stayed even longer than me. In the last few clips of the thrift with us, I was like, I'm gonna go in and get Ryan. And then I went in and Ryan was like, I'm not leaving, so. No, I was having too good of a day. Ryan literally also... stayed until the very last rotation, which is like late. It was like, like 4.30, 4.45, when I ended up like just inevitably getting pushed out because I was like, I'm not gonna make it. But I'm stocking, I feel like I'm hibernating. I'm stocking up for my school year. So the more stuff that I get now, the better because i'm just gonna save it you don't get to go with me as often no so yes. i'll just put it in bags and throw it in our storage space in our basement and it'll just live there until i need things to sell and by this being two parts what we mean is today on thursday of this week is obviously as you're watching part one of this bins haul and then next thursday will be part two so it just basically takes the place of like what would be next week's bins haul mm -hmm. it'll just be part two of this next week though so this is like perfect timing because next tuesday Day. We are finally freaking doing the Debbie outfit shopping video. Many plans for Little Miss Debbie. We I don't know will, why this is like the theme of the video. It is today. evil. <laughs> I'm very excited to do this. We, I think it's going to be such a good time. We will dive into more of like the details about it in the actual video, but basically what we're going to be doing is shopping for one girly or trendy outfit for Debbie so she can kind of dress how like the younger college students or the high schoolers dress right now. And then we're going to do one that's like Debbie centric an outfit that we actually think Debbie would wear whether mm -hmm. it be elevated or at the level she normally wears basically just like a Debbie style outfit and we're gonna have her rank us and yes. you guys are also kind of gonna vote in the comments so it's kind of a competition but it's a friendly competition there's no like actual punishment. no it's just a good time <laughs> we're just gonna put Debbie in something that we think she would wear or something that makes her like look a little younger yeah it'll be a good time so we'll yeah we're very excited for that one that's gonna be yes. fun it's been a long time coming it's literally been yes, like two months we've talked talked about that so we're excited to finally do that otherwise tomorrow second channel video as per usual around this season saturday what's on saturday all the fun usual things i suppose we should jump into the hall yes we should i will warn I you by this part one and so much stuff for part one i do not have a thing listed for sure nope. i can guarantee you <laughs> maybe some of the shoes but i haven't even taken pictures of anything else and we do not have time i already know the schedule for the rest of the week and the weekend ryan's parents are coming and stuff no time you're gonna be busy so i will say if you see anything that you want let us know and we can prioritize getting that specific thing or a couple of things Yes. Put on the internet. I have. Comment. I yes. took all my pictures today, so I have pictures of everything. It will not be listed by the time you see this, or probably in the next five to seven business days after. By but if you like anything, let me know. By part two. I am I'm holding myself to it. Everything will be listed by part two. So we're gonna jump into the actual stuff. And as per usual, we're gonna start with the things, the stuff, the shoes, the whatever. So I think we're literally just gonna yeah. start off with all of that stuff because I don't have that many shoes and I don't really have that much stuff. I'm just gonna do my few and then Ryan will go and then I'll do clothing, whatever. Also, we do have a lot of stuff that we didn't show you in the actual thrift with us. So this I did show you. And this is of course a pumpkin bucket. This is a vintage blow mold one. They do obviously make these still, but this is an older one. I can just tell by the made in the USA and the markings on the bottom, but you might not be able to tell in the video, someone like glitterified this entire pumpkin. I so it's that. ultra girly and glittery. And what movie just came out that's breaking box office records? Blobby. Blobby. So this is perfect the for the Barbie movie. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure I've already seen like TikToks and reels and shorts everywhere of girls, girlies being like, so we can all agree we're all gonna be Barbie this year. And we're all just gonna say hi Barbie when we pass each other on the street. I can't so wait for that. Everyone's I think gonna, gonna be, be Barbie. So Everyone. I am excited to see all the iterations of Barbie. Buckle down on buying the pink stuff. Oh, I can't wait. Even if it's costly. I already like pink things. Like, I think this is going to be so much Speaking fun. Speaking of Barbie core, you did see this in the video, too. Hey Barbie. So Barbie doesn't only wear pink. This is really, really Barbie blue. More like the Malibu-esque mm -hmm. Barbie. You hear scratching. Will is at the door. The dogs want to get in, but that's not going to happen because we need to get through this. This is actually a Banana Republic purse, which is actually that's a good so thing because nice. Banana Republic always uses real leather. So mm -hmm. this is a real leather blue little, like, mini purse. Super freaking cute. I think this will do really, really good. Oh, yeah. Very Y2K style and everything. I would have been very excited. This is very cottage core. This is a home thing. So this is a needlepoint, not cross stitch. No. People always get upset when you mix them up. Especially I think I've heard on eBay. So I, I think this is needlepoint. This is a needlepoint like hibiscus graphic Kleenex cover uh, made of like yarn. I love picking up vintage home oh, stuff. Oh yeah, it's just like the plastic. And cutesy cottage core home stuff. It actually does so good. So I was excited to oh, find Oh, look that. at how cute this is. There's like a different like stitch thing, yeah. whatever kind of detail this is. This is a coach piece, coach. Coach. This is like a coach wallet or checkbook holder. This is very vintage though, as you can tell with the logo there. There obviously are some marks and like some mm -hmm. paint or something, but I don't really care when it comes to vintage coach. As long as it's not like mm -hmm. ripped in half, we're good. Somebody's so gonna buy it, literally. That'll do good. We also have this vintage coach. Oh, you found one too. Which at first I was like cautious about because some of the fakes do use this like logo here, mm -hmm. but some real ones do as well. And luckily this is a real one. So this is a leather like flap messenger coach bag this and weirdly enough i didn't even know this was a thing really this was made in italy coach which i don't know what era that is early 2000s but if i'm not maybe, mistaken yeah handcrafted in italy but this is a real coach it's older it's actually in really good shape besides again just some like leather rubbing and whatever yeah. which is not that big of a deal so mm -hmm. that's okay then we have a pair of loafers that are actually going to be consigned but they're cute they're silver franco sardo these loafers the leather on franco sardo shoes is always so yeah nice. i don't think that these would do good enough for me so i'm just gonna easy they look like those rubber clergies you found they we do, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have another like girly style coach. This is more of a like mid 2000s, like 2008, 2009 kind of coach. This is very similar to something I will show you, <laughs> which is really funny. But I do love the giant tacky, like way oversized coach hang tags. Love. And this is still that same style of like throw it over and it's down. So mm -hmm. this is still a very trendy style. Two more shoes. This is a brand I've never tried, but it has nothing to do with the brand why I picked these up. So they're BOC or Bach or whatever it is, mm -hmm. Born Conception. Never heard of them. But slides with like a platform and a slight wedge like this that are black are so trendy right now. This possibly could mm -hmm. be on the fall trend report. We have not done any research at all. No, we have not. But I've seen these everywhere. They're so everywhere. popular. Everywhere. They are so, so the brand popular. doesn't matter. I'm hoping that those do good. They're size six. And then these are freaking adorable. This is another oh, is pretty trendy style of sandal. These like seat belt, almost like buckle it's straps. It's like a Z-strap sandal, yes. if I'm not mistaken. These are actually Chacos. My second ever pair of Chacos. And I think these are really, really cute. I They're like the a color. really dusty gray purple. Yeah. And they're really adorable. These, I think, are also a size six. Super cute. Okay, shoesies. And all my clothes are spilling into all my shoes. First thing, I won two coin tosses at the bins. Our bins were in roll, a row. <laughs> which is like big news to me because I never win the coin tosses. So we'll get those I two out of the way. <laughs> the first pair that I won was this beautiful pair of Tory Burt little heels. These have been spoken for. They are adorable. They're size six and a half. All they really needed was a little leather condition and I hope they enjoy their new wonderful little home. If you'd like to explain what a coin toss means. Yes, so, okay, back to my original story. A coin toss is if I find one shoe and Jack finds the other one, the most civil way in the whole wide world to do this is a coin toss. It's a fist duel. 
Yeah. So we take our hands, we find the sharpest thing in the bin that we can find, and we just start beating each other. Yeah. yeah. So it's literally just a coin toss, heads or tails, whoever calls it. Yeah. Usually it's like the person that goes up and says like, I have that other one. Like, do you want a coin flip? Like, okay, you can call it. That's kind of usually how it goes, but then nobody can get mad because mm -hmm. it's up to our Civil. wonderful friend, Lady Luck, literally. The next pair that I won are these really beautiful pair of Madewell booties. Perfect for the season. The leather on these is in next to new condition. They've been worn like a handful of times based off of the bottom, but the inside says these are from summer of 2019, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And they are a size nine. I love Madewell booties. Like the shoes is one of the only things that I do kind of get excited for. Cause they Especially still- Especially the boots. Yes, cause they still do really good for me, which is nice. Next pair of shoes. I have never actually tried this brand before, but I know they're expensive. So the brand, if I can hold them the right way, is AS as 98, AS 98. I don't know what this is doing here. Pause for technical difficulty. There we go. AS98. So I feel like, and I look these up, and they all kind of look like this on the heel. <laughs> Those are the funkiest heels. You can tell it's they like look, factory done. It gives me very, oh. Free bird. Free bird. Thank I thought for, that's what they Thank be. you for that. Okay, but these, like, honestly really haven't been worn that much. I don't know too much about these. I know they're expensive, and I know that people want them. <laughs> the whole shoe in general looks like it was put through, like, a dryer. <laughs> it kind of, it's like tumbled. <laughs> yeah. I guess. I don't really have any idea. Um, these these are made in Bosnia. They are a size nine, so I wonder who donated the Madewell booties, which is nice. Then we get into, because it's Minnesota, ha ha ha, guess what I found? Every hey. time, every time, last haul, I said, I swear every time one of us finds a pair. And we do. Not this mad. is the Sorrel Joan of the Arctic, little wedges. This is a black pair. I like that this is kind of like a broken in, distressed leather. They do have a little bit of extra wear on the toes, but nothing major. These are seven and a half and they still have the like really nice little Sorrel thing. Somebody threw these back and some girl was like, why? And she was like, look at how beat up they are. But if you look at the bottoms, they really aren't that worn, which is indicative to me that this like little crackle leather situation is like purposeful. Rag and Bone and All Saints use leather like that all Yes, the they time. do. This it's like, like a, the broken in kind of stuff. I don't know what it's called. like a natural like, raw. Yeah. I don't really know. And then my last pair of shoes, I have a lot of accessories, Um, are these really adorable little white pair of booties. I love this kind of like chunky heel. These are Steve Madden. Brand new. I know. So the only really like problem with them is they got a little bunked around in the bin. So I have to kind of just like wipe off just like some of the toes and stuff. But we have this wonderful product called Tough Stuff. It's this amazing car upholstery cleaner and you spray it on anything and it takes off anything. So perfect. Size seven. Yes, adorable. Bag number one, big old Kipling bag. Usually I give these to Debbie. I thought this was Debbie. a converse. <laughs> Usually I give these to Debbie, but this one is newer because it has the newer little monkey on it. Do not ask me how I know that that's the newer Kipling monkey. I don't know, I just do. they're all metal and plastic now. They used to be the cute little like fluffy The little ones. stuffed animals, I know. But this is actually in really, really nice condition. There's one little spot that I noticed when I was photographing it and I think it's, like, yeah, it's right here. This teeny itty bitty little black mark, but the inside, is also in really nice shape. And these bags are actually still really expensive. I kind of forget that Kipling's like not cheap. Not like Louis Vuitton expensive, but it's like, you know, 140, you 120. This is my $15,000 Kipling bag. Loopling. Loopling. I was very excited to find. It is a Hello Kitty little duffel bag. And this is by Loungefly. If you don't know that brand or that company, they do a ton of like character licensing. They make all the little Disney backpacks. Very popular, very trendy, very expensive. Some are very sought after. Yeah. Yes. This is from the 2010 collection. The only real problem with this bag is because it's faux leather. It's doing a little bit of this, which normally I am like not the biggest fan of, but I know the Hello Kitty girlies are a devoted oh. bunch. They do not really care. So, and the inside is actually shockingly really clean. The bottom doesn't have any issues. It's just like a little bit of minor wear, but considering this bag is 13 years old, the fact that 2010 was 13 years ago kind of messes me up, but I was so very excited to get that as I move all of our set. So bags, all my bags are like the biggest, thickest leather bags you can find, but that's okay. This first one is this really adorable, very bohemian style satchel looking like field bag. It's by the wonderful Canadian brand Roots. If you don't know, they are very expensive. I don't know what the equivalent is to the US because there isn't anything like similar. 
but I love all the little fringy detail. I love this just kind of like a very worn, like broken in look. I think that's really a I really like the little Roots logo. Oh, I couldn't think guys. of this animal Beaver. in the, a bee. I kept wanting to call it a penguin. Don't ask me why. I don't need to hear it. I'm not <laughs> like, a zoologist. I'm an artist. When I was doing the voiceover, literally, for that Thrift With Us, I was like, oh my god, what animal is that? Like, thinking to myself, and it was just like five minutes of silence because I couldn't think of the <laughs> word beaver. Anyway, this is my vintage coach. Beautiful. Coach Willis Satchel. Funny story about this little strap. It is not original. I found one of the like bootleg coaches in the exact same color. And I was like, cause this bag didn't have a strap in it. And I was like, perfect. Like the stone mountain, like yeah, one for one. Or like something like that. And I was like, it matches literally almost perfectly. So I was like, that's amazing. We'll just say that in the description and the strap isn't original, but nobody's gonna notice. This one is thankfully made in the uh, United States of America, which is amazing. These always do so good for me, the little Willis satchels. And I love that the brass hasn't tarnished. There's a hardly any wear, shape. Which is amazing. If you think she looks familiar, she does. This is the exact same style of the bag that Jack just held up in leather. Kind of. Isn't it? Definitely quite a bit older, no. Oh, well, potato, potato. She's a little similar. They're if in the you same. squint, maybe. They're in, they're in the same family. This is one of the amazing Coach Y2K leather pieces. I love selling these because like the tiny versions of these go for like 80 to to $100. So this is just a big fat dollar sign and I love it. The inside is, if I can like show it to you, is this really nice black satin lining. Nowhere at all. I just needed a leather condition it just a little bit. I love when I find good coach bags at the bins. They always make me so happy. Okay, so this is kind of the coup de gras for the bags. This is a vintage 19, when is this from? The 60s, if I'm not mistaken. It's really old. Not really old. My dad's from the 60s, but you know, I'd call him really old. <laughs> This beautiful Mexican tooled leather bag with an authentic turquoise detail on the inside of the strap. And all of this is sterling silver. I would be able to show it to you, but it's in like the tiniest, most microscopic font on the inside of the hardware, on the inside of the bag. So if you buy it, you know, trust and believe. But I love this like double hardware detail and the lining is still in amazing condition. And it actually is like a big bag. Like you can fit a lot of stuff in here. There's two pockets with the burlap lining. I was so excited to find this. And this Western wear stuff always does so so good because a lot of the time they're very unique never go that of style no yeah. it does not i have three other little accessories and then i promise i will stop talking for a little <laughs> bit this is a free people hat that i found on the floor it is called the phoebe like workman's cap something or other. They're still on the website for like 58 bucks. It's super cute. I think it's wool, 100% wool. Perfect for the upcoming season. That's the kind of hat that you sell the girlies all the time. Yes, I do. And then for my people that have children, we have a mama and a mini hat. These are by, if you can guess, Ray Dunn. The only reason I got them is because I found them together and I was like, oh, how cute though. And then they have like mama bear and then like a little mini bear. They really don't have any signs of wear. I feel like Dr. Seuss today. On the inside of them. And I just think they're, you know, a cute little look in there there's no wear there's no wear in it's that a bear mama bear hat okay and then this is me being like pleasantly surprised by just some random little gift this is a new tags west elm the nice. row blanket which if you don't know west elm is an ungodly expensive furniture store but their stuff is beautiful quality it's so nice so this is this really beautiful like kind of textured gray purple blanket it is a 40 by 50 throw and they probably got this as a gift because there's the price tag but there's no price on it. Match so. It matches my choco color. Yes, it does. That's exactly it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my thick, like, jackets because I found a couple of them. And then I'll, <laughs> we I'll have a on. few. So first up is this Sherpa. And these have been all the rage with oh, the like goodness. vintage head men yes, lately. Even though actually females do wear these too. So, But this is a full zip printed mm -hmm. Sherpa with wolves and pine trees on the front. And then there's actually like a different print of wolves and pine trees on the back as well. It carries oh. onto the sleeves. This is so, so nice. I do need to give her a good washing because there's like a few marks on the sleeves, but otherwise it's in great shape. It's made in the USA, so it is vintage. It's by a brand called Bear Ridge and it's a size large, which I would assume was originally a men's large. So maybe like mm -hmm. a woman's XL and men's 
large. Cute though. Then we have this really adorable flannel I love this. jacket. And this is by the brand Dress Forum. And I had recently actually found out that Dress Forum is sometimes sold at Urban Outfitters. Hmm. So now I have been like keeping my eye on it every once in a while or else I think it's just kind of like a boutique brand, but I don't think I've looked this one up yet. It's super, super cute though. So super soft. soft and it's like an oversized medium jacket. And this was like the exact type of stuff that I was going into the bins looking for. <laughs> Light winter that you can put in a bag. <laughs> Speaking of, this is not this in the is, bag. <laughs> yeah, this is huge. This is Woolrich, and for some reason they cut the size out. But this is the most freaking heavy duty this is heavy jacket duty. ever. But it is like the nicest, most expensive feeling mm -hmm. wool. If you didn't know, Woolrich is actually like super expensive. I feel like it's you do so see expensive. it pretty frequently just because it's been around for a trillion years. Yes, it kind literally. of like Pendleton, <laughs> but like they're both wildly expensive. So this is totally like quilted lined I actually I think it might be reversible because there's pockets on the inside placed the brand tag is on the inside though, okay so I don't think it would be oh if no this was... is just like that inner pocket yeah like for okay. your like collectibles yeah but the back is vented and everything too so oh, super nice so nice no moth holes or anything it's in such great shape I'd probably guess that actually to be like a men's at least XL then we have a really really nice leather jacket and I have never picked up anything by this brand because this honestly beautiful jacket though. I feel like anytime you find it I feel like it's really really old <laughs> but this is not so it's Verapel, and this is actually a made in Italy leather jacket. Those Italians. Super, super nice, luxurious leather. And it kind of has like the moto details of having the zippers at the cuffs mm -hmm. and the big like chunky zipper at the front. This is made in Italy. It's a size 52, so it must have been a men's. Like a large? U.S. if I'm not mistaken. Larger XL, I believe. The lining's viscose, but yeah, it's made in Italy and everything. So this is really, really nice. If you find newer ones, the comps were actually super, super good on this. Hmm. Like 250 or something. Could you know, the I, old ones every still time go, but... I find a leather jacket, I'm just like, here, Jack. <laughs> Which I appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> then this is also a really, really nice coat. So mm -hmm. this is a cotton, like kind of pea coat hooded yeah. with the buttons all the way up the front. Front, and this is actually by theory and I have the theory that this is a men's jacket just by, maybe just by the sizing but I'm not sure honestly so I will look this up wait okay what side of the buttons if the buttons are right but also brands do not always stick to that rule but this I think is a men's and yep this is a cotton maybe I don't know it's, it's okay the rule no, that we're just kidding it is a woman's yeah the rule that we're trying to figure out is the men's buttons are always you're supposed to use your right hand to pull out a wedding ring well, that's the trick to remember. Yeah, that's so me like. So you. <laughs> I'm not trying to do anything weird. I'm trying to think of like. So basically, if the buttons are on the right, it's men's, and these buttons yeah. are on the left. So technically, technically, this is a woman. So it's a woman's medium, but I'll look it up. And I think it's quite like a newer piece from theory. And last for my big old coats is my favorite. So this is by Tannery West. It's a size small. And this is a vintage natural color leather trench coat. So beautiful. So stunning. And the lining is not torn or ripped or anything anywhere. There's not mm -hmm. any stains on it. She took care of this. Whoever this, owned this before it took such this good is care in of this. Such jacket. good shape. Even the outside, it doesn't have any like big watermarks or big like oil mm -hmm. spots or anything. I mean, it looks like it's from the 80s or whenever it's from, but it doesn't look in bad shape in any way shape or form natural wear it's hard for me not to keep this and of course i did have to try it on and it does fit me like a freaking glove a leather glove so i think i am gonna just list it high and if it doesn't sell after like a little bit i mean like then i have to keep it we have to keep it. <laughs> i okay. want a black one so bad a you vintage a black, one black so trench leather Ah, never find one. Okay, I have, thankfully I sorted all my stuff when I took pictures. So let's get into the bras or the sports things and some pants. And by that, I mean, it's literally just for Lululemon sports bras. <laughs> so the first one I found is not Lululemon. <laughs> I lied. Calvin Klein in this really cute sage green color. These always like the t-shirt bras always do really good for me. And usually I find a couple of them and I'll lot them together, but this time I only found one. So the first sports bra that I found is this cute little white 
one. There's the little Lulu logo on the back. This one, if I'm not mistaken, is the size eight. Yes, I found like a two, four, six, and eight. Okay, so this is the 10, size 10, really adorable, like blush pink color, very ballet core. There is the little Lulu symbol. And these are all thankfully newer because they have the like code detailing that goes around the size dot, which, oh, I love the when style, I find, yeah. yes. I love when I find like newer Lulu. This really cute white one, which, okay, is this the same thing as this one? No. Did I find two of the exact no. same sports bra? No. Close. That one has two. Well, that one? Oh, no. this one is just more strappy yeah. in the back. Anyway, there is the little Lulu symbol. This one is a size six. I don't know why I'm showing that to you as if you can see it. Size six. This is a really interesting tank top to me. So it's Lululemon, but it has this like ribbon detail up on the like back. Like if you can feel this, it feels like a satin hmm. ribbon. And the only reason I bought it, because normally I wouldn't go near this with a 10 foot pole because they don't sell. Well, you'd pick I can it call up. it ballet core. You pick it up. You just usually wouldn't sell it yourself. Yes, that's what I mean. Thank you. I can <laughs> call this ballet core because it has the little ribbon detail on the back, and apparently that's something that they look for. So it's very popular right now. I don't really know. This one is a size four. This one is a little older because it doesn't have the code going around it. Um, I do have these. Perfect timing. This is very ballet core. I don't know why, but I know that it is. So this is a pair of women's ballet dance tights for some reason. They're knit, like it's a sweater material and they are completely crotchless. They have no stitches, but I looked them up and they are supposed to be that way, I thank the Lord. Cause you wear like a unitard and then like the regular tights and then you put these on over them to like keep you warm. Hmm. And so you can like do a kick and not like, you know, split your tights in half. Hmm. Um, they are by the brand KD Dance in a size medium, vintage, but I love this like pastel peach light ballet color. I have some pants. This is a men's item. This is a pair of bonobos. This is a slim in a size 35. I do pretty good with the men's bonobo stuff that I find, especially when it's in nice condition. And these are just like a good pair of everyday dark wash jeans. And especially with men's stuff, I try to pick up stuff that's not like older men's. Like a slim is like a younger person who's like probably shopping on the internet versus like a tailored straight who's like somebody's grandpa. And then I love this brand, Sundance. This is the new tag. This is adorable. I love this skirt. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Adorable. It's all lace, if you can tell. And then it has this really amazing, like, trimmed detail on it. There is no size, unfortunately. I would say this is probably a medium. I have measurements if you would like, and I compared it to the Sundance size chart. I would say it's medium. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So pretty. This is a set of pajamas. I do not know what this brand is. It is Mono Pre Femme size 38. I think it's just like a French company, but they're this really beautiful like red burgundy floral set of pajamas. And then the pants are just these like really cute, like wide leg, they're really cute. flowy like pajama pants. Yeah. Did you look them up? Like they're not. I did not. Or? I have not looked I have up. no idea what these are in any They way, could be TJ Maxx or they could be Louis Vuitton. And I don't know. Them? Yeah, they're pretty. Hmm. Okay. I know women that like to wear pajamas, so if I can't <laughs> sell <laughs> them, yeah, literally, like my own mother. So this is a little kind of bra tank top that I found. Brownie. And this is actually by Intimately Free People, and this is a size extra small or small. Perfect for once we reach the holiday season, if I haven't sold it by then, because it's like this emerald green with the gold metallic speckles all throughout. I think this is really cute, and this was in a bin that a ton of people have went through. <laughs> Everybody's gone through. Yes. Shocker. I am trying a kid's piece and that is because it is freaking hello kitty this is a 3t and it also is halloween Aww, hello how kitty. cute is this though i feel like of any kid thing to try this is like this is probably my best bet for what i could sell mm -hmm. it is really adorable and hopefully it does good but we'll see it's in really good shape so maybe That's so cute then i actually i don't really sell vintage christmas sweaters like ever. They're just so oversaturated. There's a million Vintage of them. Halloween, not very saturated and they sell 
fast. Vintage Christmas, mm -hmm. there's like a trillion. Mm -hmm. And also like there's modern ones that look like the old, like it's mm -hmm. it's too much. We probably see <sighs> 50 yes. vintage Christmas sweaters every time we go to the yeah. bins. Like they are literally a dime a dozen. Yes, it's like nothing against them. It's literally just, it's so no. well, and they're just Yeah, they're everywhere. This one though, I think is really adorable. It's by a brand called Nutcracker. And I can tell it's vintage because it's an acrylic sweater and it's also made in the USA. It's a medium. Mm -hmm. And this is just so so oh, cute though. Cute. It's so well done and very like clear. Like you can mm -hmm. even see his pupils and the speckles yeah. and the like the stocking. Smoke coming out of the chimney. The little chimney. And then mm -hmm. yeah, it how the pattern like continues on the sleeves. This one mm -hmm. is just so much like better done than other ones I see mm -hmm. that I did feel like it was worth picking up. And like I said in the voiceover, I never hold on to things for like their correct season. <laughs> that that, possibly, Holy. even though I still might list it, maybe, we'll see. But if I ever held on to anything, it'd be that. Then we have another sweater and this is a cardigan and this is actually Barefoot Dreams. It's a size small, kind of like Spanx. Nowhere near as exciting anymore. No, I know. But I really am not a big fan of the like waterfall open barefoot dreams anymore. Those mm -hmm. do not do well. Luckily, this is more of just like an evenly hemmed. It's like um, a more cardigan. traditional like cardigan. But yeah. it's kind of like a robe too because it actually has a belt that can tie around. Do you so think it is just a bathrobe? It, like might, be, a it little... might be like a short bathrobe. Yeah. But it's the ultra cozy chic. So it's like really, really soft. Doesn't feel very washed, really good condition. So I'm not mm -hmm. as like disappointed to find this as I sometimes can be nowadays with Barefoot Dreams. So this is made well, this is a size small, and this is something I probably like wouldn't pick up, or well, I'd pick it up, but I'd consign it normally. Yep. But because of the season we're going into, I think that this could do pretty good. It's in really good shape. It mm -hmm. does not need any detailing or anything. I like the wrap detail to it. If it was just a crew neck, I definitely would consign it. So we'll give this a shot. It's a size awesome. small. And it's a good color and it's like really, really soft too. <laughs> I found a similar one in a different color. <laughs> and then- You'll see that in part two. It's buried in here somewhere. And then this is not a fall thing at all, unless you're going to like a wedding or something. Maybe. But this is Adriana Papel. Adriana I Papel. Always I always feel like she has like a deep Russian I know, accent. I know. I don't know why. I always have to say it like that. <laughs> And the voiceover, I went, I literally was just talking normal, and then I'm just like, oh, the on the pill. And then I just like kept talking. <laughs> <laughs> the code so this, switch is immediate. This is a US size 14. I do Good size. not pick her up, like, ever. Ever, 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 really. I take her stuff to the consignment store. Yeah, maybe because they price it kind of high. But like, it's sold everywhere. It's clearanced out all the time. It's very like, true. But this, I think, is really, really adorable. Mm -hmm. And actually, it is a really good size. I can tell. Pockets. Yeah, this is just. It's like a metallic jacquard kind of printed one it's with really pockets. Pretty. Good, like mid length. Just mm -hmm. super adorable. Every once in a while, her dresses can be like beholden anthro. Mm -hmm. Haven't done the research to find out if that one is, but either way, I just think that's pretty. And it is one of those things where it's like, there's no risk because like, yeah, a consignment store would totally take that yeah. if I can. Well, it's in even great though, shape. like the one thing I will say about her is like her more substantial, like formal wear pieces, I think just do really good because they are really expensive. Yeah, they are. Like her dresses are like two, three hundred dollars new. Yes. So like so if even you find on one clearance, even 60% off, that's still a lot. Of money, literally. So I will round us out with my last couple of things. So this is kind of a economical. I bought these and they were an extra small, and then I got them home and the size tag is gone. So I don't know. Tiger Mist is the brand. They are like Revolve. They're not like crazy expensive, but they're like very trendy. And this is a really cute pair of cream, as I like to call them, Kim Possible pants. Really amazing, like low rise cargo, super trendy, super good for the girlies because they like cargo pants. And no marks on them or anything. No, and, and they're I, like spotlessly clean, which is I wonderful. And I thought you were gonna put my eye out with one of those, what are they, egglets? The little like Smiles. drawstrings, egglets. Egglets. So these next two things need to go through the wash. This is is a vintage skirt and I love, the only reason I bought it is because it's plus size and I love this like detail on the bottom. The tiered is still really popular. Yeah, see there's one of our little lovely stains, but it has like a lace detail, a velvet detail, and then like some other kind of detail. And then this like ribbon in the front. So I just like that it has this like movement to it. Stevie Nicks. It is very Stevie Nicks, which I which love. Cool. Okay, so this was like the, like we're going up the roller coaster for the exciting things. This is Rebecca Taylor who like, 
okay, sure. She's, Nowadays. Thanks. Yeah, she's cute. I'm glad that I found this in the bins, and I'm glad that I can call this, like, ballet core, cottage core. There's so many. But the one problem is that the only time that she wore this, she decided to have her little, like, her lemon, drop, and her lemon drop martini, and that ended up in her lap. So this will go through the wash. That's okay. If it doesn't survive, like, it was literally 70 cents after I totaled everything out with my bins cost. So, like, I'm not really losing any money. Okay. So, Jack gave this to me, and I could not have been happier. This is so good for Depop. It's vintage Victoria's Secret, which I don't even know how old this label is. Sexy Little Things from Victoria's Secrets, and it says, Sweet Cheeks. That's gonna do so And well. it has two little pieces of candy on it. I thought about wearing this, because I think I could squeeze into this. Next time we go out, I'm I... glad that that thought didn't go anywhere for you, because do you think I, I think, should? I think we all would have turned the program off. It fits. It stretches. I think I would look like you. somebody's, like, you scary uncle with like the beer gut hanging out of the wife beater. I it think wouldn't be good. You would look like you shouldn't be near a school. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go within 500 feet. Of <laughs> okay, and then the last thing I will show you before we wrap this up for part two is this pair of LNA biker shorts. I know that this brand is kind of expensive. It's like a Revolve brand. These are a size small. And they're just this really cute pair of like high-waisted cotton biker shorts and this like cute little cheetah print. The L acronyms are kind of like the A acronyms where there are There's so many of them. too many. APC, ATM, ALC. APL. And then L, there's like LPA, LNA, LMNLP, QRSUV. I'm not trying to play the know. alphabet aerobics. No. We're trying to figure out what your brand's name is. Uh-uh. No. But anyways, anyways, for part two, we both still got an Ikea bag full of stuff. That's literally why this has to be two parts. It's a hefty because bag. Because we're literally going to have to go fast through part two because there's so much left. So There's some gems in part two, let me tell you what. We're going to release you guys right now so you can enjoy the rest of your night. And we are going to go film part two of this. This for next week. We're actually not gonna go anywhere. No, we're not gonna go. I'm gonna, gonna sit gonna right sit here. here. I'm gonna put all my things away and then we're gonna film for two. It's super late and we haven't eaten dinner yet, but we're gonna do this for you guys. It'll be, real. It'll be a nice dinner. Yeah. So we will see you guys tomorrow on the second channel if you're interested. Saturday for What Sold Saturday yes. or next week with good old Debbie. Good old Debbie. Good old Deb. Good old Debbie. So we'll see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye.